Hey YouTube, it's me XPT and I know I haven't made a video in a long time mainly because I've been caught up in other things customizing other stuff like my Xbox um, playing sports, work, friends customize my camera um, been doing other people's iPods right now I'm working on a, a friend's iPod first gen I just did it, so I just installed a couple things. Um, my Xbox controller finished this a few days ago. Um, it works perfectly fine. I love it. It's Blue Tiger Camo from Call of Duty 4. Um, anyway, so this video is about custom clock, custom clocks and fonts. I got a lot of messages about this. I did answer all those messages, by the way, to those people who have it, who are watching this. And um, so I thought I'd make a video about all this. Um, I'll show you guys. So you can see my clock, right? Um, first thing you need to do is have your iPhone or iPod touch jailbroken, by the way. People keep messaging me about if it should be if it's if you can do it without a jailbroken iPhone or iPod no you can't okay you shouldn't be watching this if you don't have a jailbroken all my videos are about jailbroken iPhones or iPod touch so go watch a video on that if your device isn't jailbroken um, so you go into Cydia get font swap I will have the source in the description um, from how to get font swap from or who to get it from and then I will have this, the link to this website XLIs um, <clears throat> so it's the fonts mega pack alright the, the, there's two links one is for the lock clock alright which I showed you and the other one is for system fonts all right. Um, both are great. These two links have more, a lot more fonts than FontSwap. All right, and they're both compatible with FontSwap. So you go to this website, copy paste the links, download them, read the instructions before you put it. All right, um, and then you're gonna have to SSH your device. Alright, they come in folders by the way, like this right here. Lock lock system fonts. Alright. Um so you're gonna have to SSH your device. Okay, so you're gonna have to go back once, alright? Mac users, this arrow, window PC, folder with a back arrow. You're gonna double click that. Um you're gonna go back once. You're gonna scroll down, you're gonna open up mobile, and then you're gonna open up library. And when you download FontSwap, you should have FontSwap folder right here. Okay? You open that, and there's a folder in there called packages. Alright? All you have to do is drag the two folders and drop them in there. Okay? That's all you do. If you ask you to copy them, cop, uh, whatever you know the whole thing, copy and replace. You say yes. All right. I'll show you my lock lock. See, these are all the different fonts. As you can see, there's a hundred. I shouldn't say 120. There's 122 files. But that's not true because that's how many it's inside a folder. <coughs> um. As you can see, there's a ton of clock fonts, and for system fonts, there's even more. All right. So yes, set your device. Once you get that in, simply open up your wrong wrong app. You open up your font swap. All right. Now for locked clocks, you open up lock clocks, 
and as you can see it shows you a preview of all the different fonts. Now the one I have, which is the one that people, all my subscribers like, is um, actually I can't even find it anymore. Should be near the top. Cajun Boogie. So it should be that one right there where my nails holding, pointing to. It's not too far from the top. About three swipes with your thumb, you should be there. Cajun Boogie. So you highlight it. Now ask you install and respring device or install only. You hit install and respring device, okay? After that, let it boot up. And then you'll have that sys that clock font. Alright? So this is for all those people who want to have a custom clock. And for you guys to stop messaging me about that because I get a ton of messages about that. Um, and yeah, I should make another more videos actually. Um, I will show you how to do the HUD, the volume HUD and ringers. I'll show you. All right, those are my. That's mine. And when you're putting volume, I don't really like my volume one. It's too small. If you guys can see it. Um, I will show you. That'll be my next video. Actually, I was supposed to make it before this one, but. Yeah. I thought I'd do this instead. Um, so, <clears throat> thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, and send me messages for any custom thing themes that you want done. And I'm XPT, as usual. Um, check out my channels for any other videos that you might have missed. I do have more videos on there, by the way. And thanks for watching. Later.